We're going to work on an Alex problem that deals with using the small x approximation to solve equilibrium problems. In this example, a chemist is studying the following equilibrium, which has the given equilibrium constant at a certain temperature. So we have a balanced equation and we have the equilibrium constant. He fills a reaction vessel at this temperature with 7.0 atm of nitrogen monoxide gas and 6.6 atm of chlorine gas. We're asked to predict the equilibrium pressure of NOCl using only the tools available within Alex, and if we can do that, we should round our final answer to one significant figure. So since they're asking us about equilibrium pressure, but they've only given us initial pressure, we're going to have to set up an ice table. So initial pressure, change, equilibrium. For NO, our initial pressure is 7.0. For Cl2, our initial pressure is 6.6. .6. And since they didn't give us any information about NOCl, we have to assume that's zero. For a change, it's going to be plus or minus the coefficient times x. And for these higher order equations, we have to be a little bit more specific with our pluses and our minuses. Let's examine this reaction. We start off with all reactants and no products. So this equilibrium is going to have to shift in a way that takes a little away from the reactants to make some product. So our minus is going to be on the reactant side, and our plus is going to be on the product side for this example. So the change for NO is going to be minus 2x. The change for Cl2 is going to be minus x. And for NOCl, the change is going to be plus 2x. So for equilibrium, we're just adding the initial plus the change. The next thing we want to do is set up our equilibrium constant expression. Remember that equals to the pressure of the products raised to the power of the coefficient over the pressure of the reactants raised to the power of the coefficient. I have my expression. The next thing I want to do is to plug in some numbers. All right, so when we examine this expression, I see that this is a, uh, a higher order equation, so the math becomes complicated. So this is going to be a um, fourth degree equation. So we're going to have to use something called the small x approximation. So we're going to assume that x is so small that it won't make a difference in the equilibrium of our, of our reactants. So what we're going to do is set up another ice table and we're going to assume that x is very small, that it's not going to make a big difference in the equilibrium pressure. So I'm going to go ahead and ignore the x's in my reactants. I'm going to set up a new equilibrium constant expression. I'm going to plug in some numbers. Okay, now this equation looks manageable. Let's go ahead and clean it up. I want to get rid of my denominator by multiplying on both sides. I want to divide by 4 on both sides. I want to take the square root of both sides. So this gives me x equals 2.54 times 10 to the negative 2 atm. So we were able to solve for x by assuming that x is very small. Before we continue, we're going to have to check if and make sure that x is very small. That's called checking 
the 5% rule, which states that X is less than or equal to 5% of the initial concentration or the initial pressure. So let's go ahead and check for NO first. So X turned out to be 0.36% of the initial pressure of NO. So this checks out. And let's go ahead and check for CL2. And this equals to 0.38% of uh, CL2's initial uh, pressure. So since X turned out to be less than or equal to 5%, we can say that the approximation that we made is valid. And now we can go ahead and solve for the equilibrium pressure of NOCl. So at equilibrium, the pressure equals to 2X. And so we're going to give our final answer to one significant digit. And so the equilibrium pressure of NOCl is 0 0.05 atm. So if we go back to our first uh, screen, we can is asking if we can predict the equilibrium pressure, that we would say yes. And our final answer to one significant figure is 0 0.05 atm. Let's take a look at another example. In this example, a chemist is studying the following equilibrium, which has the given equilibrium constant at a certain temperature. So we have a balanced chemical equation and we have the equilibrium constant. He fills a reaction vessel at this temperature with 5.0 atm of methane ga gas and is asking if we can predict the equilibrium pressure of H2 using only the tools available within Alex, and if we can, to give our final answer to one significant figure. Since they're asking about equilibrium pressure, but they've only given us initial pressure, we're going to have to fill a ice table. Initial change equilibrium. Our initial temperature, our initial pressure for CH4 is 5.0. We have no information for H2 and no information for C2H2. Our change is plus or minus the coefficient times x. And because this is going to be a higher order equation, we have to make sure that we're putting our pluses and our minuses in the right spots. Since this reaction starts off with reactant and no product, we're going to have to say that the equilibrium shifts in a way that takes away from the reactants to make a little bit of product. So our change for CH4 is going to be minus 2x. Our change for H2 would be plus 3x. And our change for C2H2 would be plus x. Our equilibrium is just initial plus the change. Once we have our ice table, we can go ahead and come up with our equilibrium constant expression, which is going to be the pressure of the products raised to the power of the coefficient over the pressure of the reactants raised to the power of the coefficient. Go ahead and plug in some numbers. All right, so I see that the math is a little bit complicated here. This becomes a fourth degree equation. So I'm going to go ahead and use the small x approximation. So I'm going to come up with another ice table. And I'm going to assume that x is so small that it won't make a difference in the equilibrium pressure of CH4. So I'm going to ignore that. I'm going to uh, write my equi equilibrium expression one more time.
plug in some numbers. I can do a clean up here. I want to get rid of my denominator, so I'm going to multiply on both sides. Divide by 27 on both sides. I'm going to take the fourth root on both sides. So I solved for x by assuming that x is very small. The next thing I need to do before I proceed is to check the 5% rule. So I'm going to I want to check if 3.102 is 5% or less of CH4, its initial um, pressure. So it turns out that x is not less than or equal to 5%, it's actually more. So our approximation here is not valid. So we go back to the first uh, question here, and it says, can you predict the equilibrium? We would have to hit no, and we wouldn't be able to answer the question. Good luck and keep practicing.